Welcome back everybody, my name is Eltamar and we are going to be continuing our Let's Play of Pillars of Eternity 2. Where we left last time, we were on this little island with Meryl the Mad. I don't know who she is, but we can also level up our other Cypher character. So let's grab some Sleight of Hand and some... Insight? Sure. Now we get to choose spells. So we are going to grab a couple of of spells. I want to get Penetrating Visions. Hmm. Probably Penetrating Visions, but we'll save that for later. Let's get some actual damage going here. Mind Wave might be good. Whispers of Treason is always good. Although it doesn't seem to work on Undead and stuff, but well, that's fine. Insight, slide of hand again. Uh, we get level 2 abilities, so I'm going to grab Draining Whip with him so we can build focus faster. We get a second ability too. We're also going to grab a uh, 2 weapon style. So we're going to try dual wielding weapons with him. Slide of hand again, and insight again. And we get to pick other abilities now. So we could get Amplified Thrust. Not bad. Mind Blades. So there are three types of abilities, by the way, for Cypher abilities. There's uh, Deception, which is sort of like debuffs. Uh, there's Shreds, which are damage generally. These are all generalities. And Echoes are usually buffs. I'm gonna try that one. Mental Binding. Oh, we get a new thing. So we have Blunderbuss already. We're gonna grab Pistols. And that looks good. Next level, we're gonna grab a little bit of Stealth because we need some, some Stealth. And we'll get some more Streetwise. Why not? And we get a level 3 ability. Pain Link might be really good, actually. I might try Pain Link. Mentally links an ally to those around them, forcing attackers to experience a portion of all damage the ally suffers. Can be really good, actually. Oh, we get another ability as well. We could grab Soul Ignition. Let's try that. There's abilities I haven't tried yet, so I want to just take a look at what they do. And we should also equip him with weapons. So we're going to use his secondary weapons. I also want to move the Blunderbuss to there. A Blunderbuss pistol combination. Interesting. Range 5 meters, range 8 meters. It might be worthwhile just to have the yes, pistol separate, but... We're going to... Oh. So there's some revenants up there, at least a couple, and Meryl the Mad, who appears to be some form of necromancer. Oh, we walked too close. That's okay. They'll come after us, right? She's coming right in. Not you first. I mean, running in first as a caster is a terrible idea, but it'll help us out a little. Get the disengage. And we should turn his AI on. He'll do things. Next one's dead. There's only a handful of revenants left, but we don't want to charge in there stupidly. Absolutely not. That's a terrible idea. In no situation should my uh, cleric be going in first. Ow. 
I should do that. Come on. Wow. Oh, that's Eddie. Okay. I was like, why did my character just run up there? But he didn't. That's fine. He can do that. He's allowed to. He's the tank. Main tanks can do whatever they want. Anyone that tells you differently has never played main tank. I like how he's just standing like in melee range, just shooting things. His blunderbuss is super cool. Does AOE damage and everything. It's nice too. What else we get? Oh, some actual things. A stone of power, which is int and power surge. What's power surge do? Plus two to all power levels. Interesting. Um, and of course some fine padded armor and a fine rod. Meryl had a very fine rod. Wait, that's weird. Or is it? We should give this uh, amulet to somebody. I'm thinking a loth, because he's our mage. Why not? There you go, a loth. Congratulations on your necklace. Just gonna check down here to make sure there's nothing else, and then we'll head on our way. I also need to go back to town and buy cannons. Apparently, that's important, so we'll go do that as well in this video at some point. I'm worried about like pirates and stuff. Because I've heard they're kind of tough sometimes if you don't have enough crew. And I don't think we have enough crew. We have like several crew, but not enough crew. Abandoned village between failed settlements and discarded Juana villages. The dead fire something. You discover a small village nestled in a hillside. It's silent, save for the whistle of wind through open windows. As you near, you find the bodies of long dead kith in the street. Their bones cracked and scored with the teeth marks of a large beast. Let's search it. We found some drugs. We found some gemstones. That's it. We searched all of the thing and that was all there was. I guess that's all there is on this island. It's not a supremely exciting island, but there was one cool encounter. Meryl the Crazy. Uh, we should go back and find new cannons, but we'll kind of go about it in a roundabout way. I'm sure that I'll find out at some point soon that Running around without good guns is a terrible idea, but... For now, I'm living in my blissful ignorance that we are safe. Oh god, I should have listened to everyone else that said go buy guns. No! Oh good, we got away. Okay. Okay, let's go buy guns. <laughs> I've learned my lesson very quickly. There's a shipwreck in there. Where's the... Okay, it's just north from here. We'll do the shipwreck, and then we'll go get some guns. He said as he went on the longest roundabout route ever. And I found another island. Chain. Shipwreck time. What do we get? Let's shift, sift through it. We found some rice. And adventuring supplies. And some baby pearls. And that's it. I don't think that's an enemy. It's a river dragon. That's not the ship that chased after me, so... I'll call that a victory. Oh, I can just dump food into here to be food. There, we have tons of food. And a whole bunch of water. We don't need to go back... Oh, we need to buy guns. Sure, give them some ale too. I don't care. My crew can be drunk while they sail. I guess while we're here, we might as well try and search the shipwreck and, like, go through the whole thing until it says there's nothing left in there and vanishes. I didn't realize they vanished after you searched everything. Found some Azata Mui shells. And that's it. Now it's gone. We should do the same thing with the old battleground as well. And probably the burial site, to be honest. In fact, that's what we're going to do right before we go buy guns. I didn't realize you could expend them. I thought you'd just spend like eight years searching for nothing. What's that? Did we? That's nothing. Okay. 
They're just a rock outcropping. Found some shells, and that's it. Now it's gone. Nobody told me that you couldn't do that. And there's a rice farm. How lovely. We might have to buy more water and rice later, but... Sailing is fun so far. It's like... A, you know, like a 7 out of 10. 9 out of 10 with rice. Now nothing's there. We found nothing of value and he kicked us out. I wish I could have done that before, but that's fine. At least now we know that there's nothing left there for us to grab. Uh, let's leave by sea. Let's buy some cannons. Supply. Look at that supply. There's a Valian Hullbreaker, which looks very expensive, or some Iron Thunderers. I'm just gonna buy four iron. That's expensive, but still, four Iron Thunderers. Good enough. We also have a Obsidian Colors. I'm playing the Obsidian Colors. We're gonna fly a different flag. Watcher Colors. Pfft. Uh, oh, I see. Alright. Now we can leave again. We have lots of supply for now, so we're okay with that. Daily wages, we're, we're, you know, we're paying our people. Eventually we'll probably need to sell some treasures. We found a thing. A small island with what looks like a tree. And a puddle. Or like an oasis type thing. I had 23 water, that's actually quite a bit of water, I think. It's like five days of water for us, so I will call that a decent amount of water. We're also going to save. There's an abandoned village here. Let's go take a look. The farming fields surrounding the village are barren and sunbaked. Its small orchard of quakey trees is dry. The fruits shriveled like raisins. As you approach the village, you find it empty, a fine dust having long settled onto every surface. Search. We got some rice. Search again. Some fire kelp. And nothing of value. And that's it. Alright. We're quick saving because I don't know how what kind of things can happen to us at sea, but I'm imagining that this is going to be a bad one. What was the range on our gun? They have a lot more ammo than us. They have a lot more crew than us. From Dung Rajer points to a dark spot on the horizon. Captain, a vessel approaches. You squint to the horizon and see unfamiliar colors snapping in the breeze. Let's advance. The enemy crew scurry to their stations in preparation for maneuvers. The whirlwind turns to port, attempting to gain the win advantage. What is the range on our gun? Where does it show me my gun range? Was it like 400? I think it was 400 meters. We go one ahead. Shield Sister Dahlia and Rum Dum Rager clamber up the main mast and unfurl the remaining sails. The sails billow out and catch the wind in full. Invincible 4 leaps forward. We close the distance. Your opponent's ship comes about with all possible haste. And though the opposing crew is fleet of foot, turning the vessel of the world one side still takes time. Turn to starboard. The helmsman spins the wheel to starboard as, your, as the crew trims the sails. They're preparing? The wind has died. Our course of action? How far are we away? Alright, full speed ahead. The opposing ship is moving at us. Our course of action will be to... Old position. The Invincible's crews hurry to take in the sails. Your ship slows to a halt. They're moving again. The wind has died. They want us to move into range, don't they? I don't want to move into range. Alright, let's turn hard to port. They're scurrying. They let loose in the sails. We will full speed ahead. 
They're preparing for maneuvers. We're gonna turn back to starboard again. I don't think we're in range, but I just don't know. I guess we are in range because they're shooting at us. So they hit us for seven and six. Our course of action? Fire back. We fired the guns. We got double sixes. They're preparing to move again. They move with the full force of the wind at their back. What is a jibe? It's like a 180. Alright, it's 180 this thing. We brought the main... We brought the invincible around. The crew of the whirlwind is springing into action for racing for their stations and they came about in reserve a reverse course. Our course of action is to fire the other cannons. We have a lot less chance of hitting them, but we're firing anyways. A double miss, grim. They're turning again. We're gonna jive again, we're gonna go back to the other side. They're preparing again, the wind has died. Our course of action is to fire the port cannons. Why do we have such a crappy chance to hit? Oh well. We're not close enough for this. A double miss again, we can't take that too much. They have claimed the wind gauge. Or no, we have claimed the wind gauge, sorry. We turn to port. We could move closer, but they could shoot at us. And they have more hull than we do by a lot. We're flipping around. They're firing at us. They shot us with a hog nose for one damage. We have one shot for 52%. Oh well. Come on. They're letting loose their sails. We're turning around. They moved their people around, weirdly. Our course of action is going to be to fire the port guns. No, it's not. They must be weirdly positioned for us. So our navigator is doing that. Can you like... Surgeon Cook Navigator, okay. their deckhands. Alright, I think we can turn to port and just advance on them. They're preparing. We'll full sail ahead, then we'll turn and fire. They're preparing again. The ship came to a halt. Let's turn to port again. We're like 400 meters away. They're racing, they're firing at us. They missed us, which is nice. We have an 80% chance to hit with this one. Eighty percent chance and you miss? How? We're turning around. We're firing. For why can't this guy shoot? Oh, he's injured. Oh! If people get injured, they can't shoot. I mean, that makes a lot of sense, but... Get on the cannons. That's better. 
We're firing with two guns this time. We hit him for seven that time. We hit the sails for seven, I should say. The wind has died. We're jibing. We're turning around. And we are firing the other cannons, which have much less chance of hitting, but still. Double miss. We are going to flat out run out of ammo. They're firing their thunderers. Ooh, they hit us hard. We're going back to the other side. Why is our thing so low? How do I tell... Oh, because we just jibed. Okay. I see. You can't just turn and then fire. I see. Ah, that makes sense. Okay. We'll just hold position. They're maneuvering. Now we fire. That's much better. I'm learning still, guys. Still learning. Double eight. That's better. We'll jibe again. Turn around so we can get our other guns reloaded. And then we will just hold position. They let they open their sails. And now we fire again. This is much easier now that we know how to do this. Their ship's taking some punishment. They've lost some crew. A couple of them were injured. They're firing again at us. But they missed. Obviously. Because they didn't hit us. Uh, we just hold position. They let loose their sails. We're firing guns. We're gonna need to buy more cannonballs. They haven't lost any more crew yet. I'm flipping around again. Oh, they're shooting at us. For four damage. No one's injured. Good. How long does it take for guns to reload? Maybe we just wait. Is it two turns? It's three turns. We should have jibed. Oh well. They fired at us. Hog knows though. They missed. And we are going to jibe around. Hold position. And then fire again. With both guns. I don't want this to fail. Seawater pours into the holes in the, whir in the whirlwind's hull. In minutes, the ship is half submerged. An explosion in the hold rends the ship apart. A cloud of thick black smoke balloons into the sky. And the wind carries a scent to you. Gunpowder. Before you can blink, the bulk of the ship disappears beneath the waves. All that remains are the, ma or the main mast and its tattered sails. Upright in a final salute before they too are taken by sea. We earned 1100 experience. Some crew gained some spaler experience. We gained a rank. Beodul gained a level. Rum Dum Regere, or Regere gained a level. Shield Sister Dahlia gained a level. Iquik gained a level. Morel gained... 8. There's a bunch of loot we got. Most of it's just gonna be cell fodder, but there's water and stuff too, so that's good. Um, share coins with the crew? Sure. We'll share some coins with the crew, get some morale. Not like I'm paying their meals or anything like that. Jerks. We need to go buy some more guns. Or more, not more guns, more ammo. I think that uh, jive hold combination is probably going to be our best bet for winning fights, at least for now. Because it takes two turns just to flip around, hold, and then fo well, three turns total, I guess. So a turn for turning, a turn for holding, and a turn for shooting, and then you do that over and over again. Our ship is repairing, it looks like. But we're back in port, so we repaired fully. Supply. Hi, I need to buy all of the cannonballs. Just give me like 82 of them. That's expensive. Don't give me 82 of them. Give me 52 of them. Sure. 30 is fine. Thank you. I'll get 12 more. There we go. We have 60. That's good. 
We're repaired up, we have lots of food and water, our morale is looking pretty good, we're lively, we get bonus experience 20% now. Fancy schmancy. So we got our first boat battle and we won! I honestly thought we might have died there, but looks like we did okay. It had more hull than we did, but its captain was stupid and kept doing nothing? I don't really know what they were doing. Let's go- ooh, there's something here, the Huaro. We'll come back for the Huaro. It looks like a wrecked ship. We'll do that in a minute. I'm just gonna kind of look around a little bit more first. I was kind of hoping to find an island to land on so we have something to do in the next video. Like this island. Here's something to do for the next video. Perfect. We're gonna go to Puracao. Let's hope it's not too bad. I will leave you off here then. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you all next time. Take care.